This guy's so funny. You know him from MTV. You know him from Netflix. He's on Paramount Plus right now. Make some noise for him. John Jacobs, everybody. All right. Thank you. I am Raphael's ex-girlfriend. Uh, yeah, he wouldn't let me do it. But, uh, yeah, pleasure to be here. My name is Leah Thomas. I am uh, the... Yes, the only female collegiate swimmer you've ever heard of. I, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool that the only one we know is the trans one. I'll be honest, I didn't even know women could swim until two weeks ago. So that was news to me. <laughs> Some people think it wasn't fair that I got to compete. I mean, sure, my dick does spin like a rudder, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I just, I think it's funny because, like, no matter where you stand on the issue, whatever you think about it, if any of us were on like, who wants to be a millionaire? And they said, name one female collegiate swimmer. We'd be like Leah Thomas. Yeah. Leah, for sure, we all agree, Leah Thomas, 100%. I always agreed. Um, yeah, I like the red lights. How about this room, huh? Yeah, I, feel, I feel like there's gonna be like a human sacrifice soon. It's a good spot. It's gonna be an MGK concert starting in a little bit. I swear to God, my music really sucks. <laughs> Big MGK fans? All right. Hey, he's cool, man. Him and Megan are goals. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Somebody just told him to change genres. He's like, okay. <laughs> you're, a ra you're not a rapper anymore, kid. You're a whore. Okay. <laughs> I dyed my hair for this. <laughs> but yeah, I like this room. This room is creepy. We're gonna have a monster truck coming in soon. That's the end of my, yeah, that's right. You've been going for Grave Digger. All right. <laughs> yeah. This feels like, just this whole vibe feels like a SWAT raid is about to happen. You know? I'm just, we're just doing comedy, I swear. You're letting people bring in their own booze? Okay. Yeah, yeah I heard that's what's going on tonight. You guys can bring your own stuff in here? Hell yeah. Who's got the molly? Who's got... Wow. Yeah, that's a molly whistle, all right. That's... The, that's great. That's the whistle you hear at the rave every 10 seconds. You go, who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> ooh, ooh. Fuck that guy. Yeah, I, you ever go to any of those festivals? I went to Ultra, Ultra Festival in Miami. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, that's right. I love Ultra. The whole drive down, I was like, I fucking love trance music, baby. And then two hours into the second day, I was like, I fucking hate trance music. This shit sucks. I think it's been one song for two days. I don't, I don't even think it's a, DJ, a different DJ. I think he just switched his helmet. It's a t no, that's Marshmallow. But it's, well, it's Marshmallow with mouth, mouse ears. He's, he's doing a new thing. Last time I was at that festival, I saw a, a dude, you know, you see pretty wacky people, the whole face tattoos, the wild like spikes in his hair. But he had this split tongue like a snake. You ever see those people with a split tongue? I go, what the fuck do you do 364 other days of the year? <laughs> like when you're not, you can't fucking work. What are you working at Subway? Like doing tomatoes with that? Like, <laughs> I don't want you to touch anything I'm making. <laughs> Unhinge his jaw, eat the whole foot long. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, Always good to be in St. Pete. Love St. Pete. Cocaine and museums. This is, yeah, culture, baby. The, the only place where you can't get your drugs delivered because the dealer's busy hosting a gallery. <laughs> oh, I gotta sell my pictures first, dude. I'll be there later. <laughs> yeah, St. Pete is a cool idea. It's just like, what if we were all bartenders? That's what St. Pete feels like. What if we put an entire city on two blocks? What if just... Sir, you're paying Central Avenue prices, okay? I'm buying crack. What do you... <laughs> Every building in St. Pete during the day, it's like, okay, during the day we're a restaurant, and then at night we're a skate park for dogs. <laughs> and the dogs do Reiki massage. Oh. And I interested you in a crystal-infused kombucha? <laughs> it's $85. Oh. Give me two. One for my dog. 
I went to the pier earlier today. Love, love the pier. All the charm of a maximum security prison yard. How about the... Yeah, what was the inspiration for the pier? Timothy Chalamet's bedroom in Dune? Like, how do we make it feel soulless? Let's... Uh, the razor, yeah, the razor dope, though. I think that's cute that you guys pretend to like baseball sometimes. That's pretty cool. What are you talking about? We love the Rays games. That's not the arena. That's a garage. We love the, we love the Rays games. The leaning tower of baseball. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, well, the, uh, is it even decided yet? Like, if you guys are keeping the team? It's like, to, yeah, every week. It's a new thing. Uh, apparently the mayor... Uh, in Tampa recently like gave him an ultimatum and was like you have to let us know if you're moving here or not just like I didn't even know a mayor could do that shit I interviewed the president of the Rays and I asked him I said you guys really thinking about splitting time between another city he's like yeah I think I go do you think anyone would like that he goes uh, you know the, the fans would get used to it yeah that what's your next idea we split time with my wife with another guy like <laughs> It's about the same level of good thinking. Cool, all right. Those are, all right. Now, what did I plan on talking about? <laughs> I, uh, I know some people have uh, like apps on their phone to limit their screen time. Uh, I just have a really cracked phone screen. So if, if I play Candy Crush too much, my fingers bleed. That's, that's how I know it's time to stop. I, uh, I went to the Verizon store recently, I got one of whatever the new iPhone is, and I go, what's new about this iPhone that's different from the last phone? And she said, well, with this phone, you can send text messages with fireworks behind them. <laughs> yeah, that's worth $1,000. <laughs> How does this go? I got the abortion. <laughs> oh, he's taking it well, all right. Oh, was that one too far? Yeah, come on. We're having a great, good time. Um, you ever watch The Bachelor? Okay, three, three women. Uh, yeah, I, like, I like on The Bachelor, the girls would always say stuff like, I've never felt anything like this before for anybody before. I've never felt like this before. You're just jet lagged. That's all. You're wasted in Prague at 1 p.m. You're just fucked up. It's not love. But I bring it up because I, I myself was on a, a reality dating show. Uh, I, I was on a show called Are You The One? Has anybody heard of that one? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it, it got a top 10, it was a top 10 show on Netflix. So, yeah, how many top 10 shows on Netflix do you guys have? Yeah, fuck, <laughs> make fun of me. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a weird, a weird deal, a, a competition reality dating show where you'd hear a lot of things like, you know, I thought we were in love, but then you got third place on the obstacle course. <laughs> oh, fuck. How do we... <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty brutal, these stupid reality shows. Like, everybody on reality TV has such an ego. Everybody thinks they're hot shit. Everybody's walking around the house going, I'm classy, you're trashy, I'm classy, you're trashy. Then a bell rings and we all eat dog shit really fast. <laughs> yeah. I was also on the challenge. Did anybody see me on the challenge? Okay, thank you. <laughs> no, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Hell yeah, crack them open, beautiful. Wow, it feels like we're in like a high school parking lot. <laughs> we gotta get trashed before the game. What is it, field hockey, but fuck it. We're... That was fun, yeah, high school anything was just a reason to get trashed. <laughs> it's the debate team, I don't know. We're, we're having a good time. Yeah. I, uh, so yeah, I, they, everybody's mentioned that there's couples in the house tonight. You ever get so drunk you end up in a relationship for six years? Anybody ever got... Yeah, it's too much. Cheers, yeah. The high school team. We met in high school. Our relationship is based on he walked past me twice a day. So we... That's enough. Now, I met my last girlfriend on one of those dating apps. Uh, what's it called? GTA Online? 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. No, I saw a woman breastfeeding on Tinder the other day. Yeah, what am I supposed to think when I see that? Ooh, maybe I'm next. Like, <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is she here? What's up? <laughs> I mentioned fireworks earlier. I'm going back to fireworks. Um, I remember the Boston bombing when that happened. Not a funny... <laughs> Oh, why, why did that? What? Right up front, you guys. Were, I'm just, just, just the jump off point from the joke. It has nothing to do with it. But the thing, okay, so when the Boston bombing happened on the news, they said the kid made the bomb using a firework from Phantom Fireworks. And because we live in Florida, we're all walking distance from a Phantom Fireworks. So I thought, okay, let's go do some research. Let's see what's really going on here. So I went to a Phantom Fireworks. And I asked the guy up front, I said, is it true that the kid who made the bomb used a firework from Phantom Fireworks? And the guy goes, uh, well, they took off the firework off the shelves they said he used, but trust me, personally, I'll tell you, that firework is not strong enough to make a bomb out of. And I said, what if he used two of them? And he went, I didn't think of that. <laughs> and so, yeah, unbelievable. I just like the names of the fireworks packs at these places because they're so specific, which is funny. One of the packs of fireworks was called Battle of Iwo Jima. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you're telling me I light this off in front of my grandfather. He's gonna go, yeah, that was basically it. I mean, maybe a little more red and yellow, but that's close <laughs> to what it was. <laughs> I was in Miami for a 4th of July. Okay, yes. Hell yeah, we got some whores. <laughs> Woo! That's the, that's the friend of the Molly guy. All right. <laughs> no, Miami's good if you want to get STD. I like it down there. But, um, yeah, I was, I was in there for a 4th of July, and I was at some restaurant, and there was just a big table of bros. And I knew they were bros because once they got the, their umbrella to open, they all cheered with each other. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we did it! But so a fireworks show was going on, and they're watching it, and uh, a guy, one of the buddies is like, oh, it's a great fireworks show. And the guy next to him leans over and names drops to him. He goes, hey, do you think these fireworks are good? You should see the South Beach fireworks show. I'm talking explosions within explosions. You really gonna brag about a cooler firework show while you're at a firework show? And they're filming fireworks on their phones. Who the fuck wants to see fireworks on a phone? Who is this for? This giant grand spectacle, you reduce it to two inches in pixels on the screen. I don't need a video of fireworks. I can send text messages with fireworks behind them, okay? I don't need your fireworks. What age can you say bomb in an airport? That, Cause I mean, surely like a little kid, they can't get pissed, right? Mommy, are there bombs on this plane? Get the fuck on the ground! Jump! <laughs> fuck you, want some too, bitch? <laughs> I like that when you go through the airport. They'll tell you uh, to take your shoes off, but they say uh, if you're under 12 or over 75, you can keep your shoes on. And uh, yeah, I like these ages they've picked, because I like that they've determined around 12, 13, that's when kids start to uh, experiment with terrorism. Yeah. I don't like homework. I'm bringing a bomb on a plane. And like over 75, that just sounds like a challenge if you're old. You're good old man. Oh, am I? Let's see. One time I was going through the airport with my grandparents and uh, the dogs start barking at them, going crazy. They pull them out, they search their shit. They pull out a jar of peanut butter and they go, oh, we train the dogs to smell peanut butter because cocaine smugglers use peanut butter to hide the scent of cocaine. And uh, I thought that was interesting because I had no idea my grandparents did cocaine. Like we could have, <laughs> we could have been partying. Yeah. Now, as, as you can tell from everything about me, I was a cocaine addict for a while, but, but I'm about six years clean actually, so six years clean on cocaine, that's right, I miss it every day.
Wish there was some right now. Ooh boy. And uh, people, they ask me, go, how did you beat such an intense addiction like cocaine? How did you beat a drug like that? I'll tell you how I beat cocaine with one word. Poverty. Yeah, they don't give you that shit for free. So, wanna go sober, go broke. That's really the, the healthiest thing you can do. Oh. Hey, well it didn't break, so we're still in. Good. Yeah, if it shattered, then we'd shame them. But what, what was it? What kind of beer was it? Because we don't know. You guys bring in your own shit. I don't know. What was it? Keystone Light. Ke <laughs> Definitely not. I don't think they even make that in a bottle. <laughs> well, yeah, what was it? I think Heineken? Okay, that's a classy enough beer. That's good for you. Keystone Light. You fucking... Are you wearing a backwards hat? I can... <laughs> Keystone Light. Yeah, Keystone Light. How, what's the cheapest you can legally get drunk? Key, Keystone Light. That's their tagline. American. What was that? Any veterans in the house tonight? Yeah. Keystone Light guy. Are you kidding me? What are the odds? Well, good for you, man. Everybody else, just a room full of pussies. All right. But uh, good for you, man. Yeah, here's the thing. I think it's fucked up that we don't take care of the veterans when they come back. It's fucked up. We have to start the charities. Wounded Warrior Project. We have bake sales for the troops. The government sent them there. They should have to take care of them. I think every veteran should be able to go into any strip club and get a free blowjob whenever they want. Whenever they want. Yeah. And we'll call the program PTS My D. I think that's... A good idea. Everybody wins with that idea. Yeah. So I got friends and family in the military. Defend the country. Defend the country. I don't know. That's an interesting way to put it. You want to defend the country? Stand on the beach with a knife. If anything washes up, go crazy. But I don't know if you really get to fly 5,000 miles and shoot somebody from a helicopter and we go, nice D. Beautiful. <laughs> Defense wins games. But, 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 you know, despite whatever's going on with the military, whatever the country chooses to send our troops, you gotta support the troops no matter what's going on. You gotta support the troops. I support the troops. Every time I see one, I put money in their cup. So. Yeah, I made that problem. Yeah, that was my fault. Right. You guys are like, we didn't come here to think. We, we, we came here to drink. Oh, I should sell that on a shirt. I don't want to think, I want to drink. I like two things, my gun and pussy. That's... <laughs> my gun and my pussy, oh, now it's progressive. <laughs> I dildo my pussy with my gun. Okay, that's, that's too far. How much further can he go? I know, I just, fucked up thoughts, they're still coming. I was like, how can I incorporate Jesus? I put my gun in Jesus' pussy. But am I canceled yet? Okay, I see the laughs have stopped. <laughs> Too far. He's going on, I wrote every word of this. <laughs> this was all planned. <laughs> I do look a little bit like if Jesus came back, but he forgot why. You know, like, I know there's something. Somebody told me I look like Fabio with leukemia. And that's not allowed to be funnier than me. <laughs> yeah, I look kind of like it's my first day homeless, you know? Like, I'm still learning the ropes. I don't know. Look like I just got broken up with by the Tiger King. This, he had a jet ski. I wanted to ride it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry I didn't dress up too much to come out tonight. I came here right from work. I sell beer to high school kids. I, <laughs> I rushed over as quick as I could. <laughs> okay, so uh, any, uh, any, what was that? Feel free. Was that a burp? What was that? Did somebody have a flashback? I don't know what happened. Was that Moon Knight? Did somebody just change for... Are you Steve or Mark? Which one? Moon Knight fans? Oh, what, you people have lives? 
You're too cool to watch Moon Knight every week? Let me guess, Falcon and Captain crowd? Okay. Wanda crowd? Okay, yeah, Wanda was good. I like watching shows where I don't know what's happening for the first six episodes. Is it good? Isn't that fun when people say shit like that? Dude, you gotta watch this show. You gotta watch this show. It gets good around the fourth season. How much time do you think I... If you just binge the first two seasons tonight... That's great. You ever, you ever start a show and then just people immediately ruin it for you? Like you're late to the game or whatever. You're like, yeah, I just started... They're like, oh, did the aliens show up yet? It's like it's in the Wild West right now. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But, uh, okay, last joke. And then I'm gonna take my clothes off. What's that? You to it, one joke. You to it? I don't get the reference. Can someone translate for me? Keystone light guy? What's up? What did he mean? Are you holding, oh, you're holding a, the peace sign? I don't know, oh, uh, oh, now you're holding a can. A can and the peace sign. Is this like charades? What are we doing? I don't know what's happening. Oh, is it a heart now? Oh, are you, are you a mute? <laughs> are you a mime? <laughs> Sorry, that was my impression of Louis C.K. Was... All right, I'm done. Thank you guys so much for looking at me. You guys were awesome. Keep it going for Dan Bax, everybody. One more time for the great John Jacobs, everybody.